Let me see. There we go. That should be enough honey to soothe the sore throat. Oh, can't forget to add this mega mag of cough drops to the tray. Hmm. Might have gone overboard with the quantity. Does he even need a hundred of these? Hey. What are you doing out of bed? I told you I'd bring the tea to you when it's ready. Um, hi. You're standing kind of close. Are you watching me? I swear, I'm being super careful with your teapot. Oh. Um, that's sweet and all, but keeping me company is the last thing you should be worried about. Your fever isn't going to come down if you keep following me around like a little duckling. We've been over this. You're going to collapse again if you don't sit down. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Easy. Yeah, I got you. You all right? See? This is why I don't want you walking around. You're wobbling like a baby deer. Believe me, nobody understands your frustration more than I do. But in order to get better, you've got to give your body the rest it needs, right? Right. So, do you need help walking back to your room, or... If you say so. Now, get back in bed and watch one of those true crime documentaries you like. Go on. I'll be along in a few. Hey, you ready for tea? Awesome. Just gonna set this tray on your desk and... Actually, mind sitting up for a second? I wanna fluff your pillow first. Um, excuse you? That's not even a real phrase. I'm not mother henning you. I'm trying to make sure that you can breathe properly. If your head is elevated, it'll help with your congestion. Because breathing is imperative for staying alive, smartass. Now, come on. Sit up for me. Thank you. There we go. All fluffed up. Would it be okay if I touched your forehead? Hmm. Skin's not as warm as it was yesterday. I think your fever's finally going down. Hmm? Again? I just put lavender oil on you like an hour ago. Hmm. Sure you're not just looking for an excuse for me to touch you? Kidding. <laughs> Yeah, you should see her face. Oh, jeez. Hope I didn't cause your fever to spike. <laughs> you're right. It's unfair to tease you while you're sick. But, back to your request. We'll do another lavender touch-up after lunch. Deal? All right. Now, let me grab your tea for you. Nope, I got it. Here you go. Be careful, the mug's hot. Oh, really? How am I treating you like a child? I'm just trying to avoid you face planting on the floor again. Hmm. I suppose one of us has to find the situation funny. God, was I this difficult when you took care of me? I was. Really? Yeah. Guess we're both stubborn. Can't help but wonder if this is how we'll be for the rest of our lives. You know, 
constantly looking after and worrying about each other? Would I be here if I wasn't? Because you never ask for help. Which is ironic, considering that you'll bend over backwards to make sure that everyone else is okay. Remember your party? You didn't ask your so-called friends with the cleanup because you figured that you'd be a burden if you did. I know. Because I used to do the same thing. But hey, good news. I'm here to help from now on. I mean, only if you want me to be. I don't want to impose or anything. Hmm? No. No. You, you may be a pain in the ass, but you're not a burden. You heard me. Oh, I'm a pain in your ass? How so? Well, since you hate my mother Henning so much, I guess I'll go home. Ow! Ow! Or you can just pull my arm out of its socket. <laughs> Damn it, man. I was just teasing. I'm not going anywhere. Until you tell me to, anyway. After all that fuss, you still have the strength to smile like that? You're such a weirdo. Am I smiling? Guess I'm a weirdo, too. Hey, about earlier. I really hope I didn't make you uncomfortable with the uh, lavender joke. Am I wrong, though? Lately, it seems that you've been a little more touchy than normal. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it feels like something's changed between us. Like when we're hugging or hanging out like this. I don't know. It's just different. Fuck, I don't know what to call it. But you get what I mean. <sighs> I guess what I'm really asking is... Am I... crazy for reading too much into this? <sighs> Never mind. This isn't the time to be talking about something like this. Um, I think I'll go make lunch and bring it to you when it's ready. <clears throat> I can't exactly walk if you're attached to my arm. What is it? <laughs> Did you really just ask me if you could tell me something? As if you'd hold back if I said no. Yeah, go ahead. What do you mean I'm not crazy? Oh, so... You have been more affectionate recently. No, I don't hate it. Not at all. But I can't seem to figure out why. Yeah, I like you too, but... What is this? Are you getting back at me for that lavender joke? Because if you are, that's a low blow. You mean it? Oh my god. You're in love with me? And now you're hiding. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not going to smother you with a pillow. What, you, you think you can tell me that you love me and then ask for an easy way out? Not going to happen. Hey, give me the pillow. Because I want to see you. Come on. Hey. It was really 
brave of you to tell me your feelings. Yeah. In fact, you beat me to it. I swear I'm not teasing you this time. Honestly, I didn't think that love was even in the cards for me. I know that I can be a difficult person to be around, and so I couldn't see myself being happy with anyone, but since the day you showed up on my doorstep, you've shown me over and over again that I was wrong. Being with you every day makes me want to be a better man. For myself, sure, but mostly for you. Not that I want to win you or anything because you're not a possession to be earned. I, I, I want to be a good friend, but I don't mind being more, if you want. I mean... Uh, Shit, I'm really bad at this. Wow. You just love to laugh at my pain, don't you? Sure you're not a loopy from all the cold meds you've been taking? I'm being rude. You're the one laughing at... Hmm. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. No, no, I, I, I liked it a lot. But maybe we should take this slow? Of course I don't want to stop, but we should. Because I love you, damn it, and I don't want to make you feel worse by... <laughs> Fine. Have it your way. Hey. You okay? Oh shit, you're coughing. Breathe. Breathe. Here, take this cough drop. You all right? Whew, okay. We are definitely holding off on the kissing until after you've recovered. Too bad. I'm not going to suffocate my boyfriend with kisses before our first date. Wait. You are my boyfriend now, right? Um, do you want to be? Yeah, it, it would make me very happy. Hey, I, I may be a grump, but being yours makes me less grumpy. The real question is, would being together make you happy too? Yeah, then I'm all yours. Hmm. Wow. I've never seen you smile like this before. It's so tender. Remember when I told you that you were going to kill me with that smile? Today might be that day. Always the optimist. But, hey, if your smile takes me out, I know you'll nurse me back to health in no time. Sure, yeah, love is the best medicine, but so is your Rascaldo. <laughs> but, until then, I'm going to take care of you with soups tea, and extra thick blankets. <laughs> yes, and lavender oil. 
How could I possibly forget the lavender oil? And as soon as you're feeling better, I'll take you wherever you want to go for our first date. Doesn't matter to me. As long as we're together, that's good enough for me. <laughs> 